So Liam, can you tell us a little bit more about your job? Uh, so I'm a live reporter, so that means that during a tournament that hands need to be keep track, kept track of, and uh, we go around keeping track of the big hands, the big names that are in play, and uh, just writing down things for the people at home to read so they understand what's going on in the tournament. So when I am playing huge tournament, I, and I say that I work for Perkin News, I always have people asking me, oh guys, how do you keep the account of the chips uh, in life because it changed so fast. So can you tell us a little bit more of how does this work? Yeah, yeah. So we, you can, uh, if you spend enough time around the poker room, you can look at us, if you, as long as you know the chip denominations, you can keep track of a stack. So usually it depends on how big the tournament size is, but you keep track of a hand, you see how much the player had at the end of the hand, and then you go plug that, that hand in and plug in their chip count. And yes, it does change a lot. That's why you'll see those updated chip counts a lot, because we'll be walking around the room and uh, I could have a ton of chip counts ready for break, and then I'll do another loop. Oh wait, somebody busted. Okay, well I gotta change that. So that's that's more or less how we uh, keep track of those those counts. So are you running a lot on the floor? Absolutely, a lot of running. You will get all of your steps in for the day, definitely. So that's a sport job for those who want to do this. You have to be energetic and in good absolutely. shape. Absolutely, <laughs> you absolutely have to be ready to run. How do you work for when you cover an event like this? Like, what are the simple tasks that you have to do? Well, one of the first things we do uh, is post our preview every day. So that's the first thing we wake up, uh, we look at what happened yesterday, if it's a multiple day tournament, or we'll preview who might be in the tournament, and what our, uh, both the players and the readers can expect that day. What are the blinds going to be? Um, you know, who's going to be there? What time does it start? And then we'll show up at the tournament, and uh, we'll cover it. We'll walk around from table to table, we'll find interesting hands, uh, we'll find interesting people, we'll take photos, and we'll report the tournament to the readers and oftentimes the players who are reading it at the table as they're playing. And I would just say, you know, like to anybody who is thinking about doing this, you know, what really helped me was like, you know, I joined my college newspaper and I just learned a little bit about AP style or like, you know, when I was working in television, like all those things kind of apply. And if you know poker and you can follow the action, then you can do this job. So many people uh, from veterans to rookies, they're so happy to be here that that energy is extremely contagious. And even on these really long nights, like you just look around and you see a lot of people, they've been doing it for a long time, and it kind of gives you a lot of confidence. Like, you know, they've been through this, they've, they're supporting us, they have our back. So those long days are a little less long. Okay, so just one last question. When, we, when you go out together for beers, do you talk only about poker? Anything but poker. Um, it depends. Like, when my friend gets here, he's going to be playing the World Series. We're just going to be talking a lot of poker. Yeah, we're definitely, I'm just soaking in all the World Series. I mean, you know, you walk out the door, out the work, and you just, you see the strip, you know, it's just... <laughs> it's poker everywhere. You just can't run away from it. I'm here with Shirley, head of live reporting at Poker News, the boss of the live reporters. Shirley, could you tell me what you're looking for in a live reporter? I think when I um, check applications for a live reporter, I look for enthusiasm, a passion for poker, and grammatically correct English. That's why I'm not a live reporter. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> She's also a little mean. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just very honest. <laughs> the boundary is thin. <laughs> um, anyway, and uh, could you tell me um, how does it feel to, uh, no, not how does it feel, um, how do you manage a team of live reporters? It's uh, it's pretty daunting task. It's my first year. Um, what I have to do is look at the schedule, combine everybody's skill sets and their experience and make sure that we have a more experienced reporter and a less experienced reporter together and just make sure that they work together well, commun communicate well, stay happy, stay alive, and stay healthy. That's most important this year, I guess, especially with the current situation. I just want to make sure everybody's okay. We're one big team and we're all trying to get through this together. This is great. <laughs> this makes you want to work for Poker News. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Send your application. Yes. I need more people. <laughs> what would you like to see on an application? I just want to feel. For me, it's all about feeling that they want to do this job and not see it as just a job. They really want to be around poker, taste the atmosphere, travel around the world, travel around America, 
and just be witness to some of the biggest moments in the poker world. Well, that sounds great. Thank you very much, Shirley. This was Lou for Poker News. For more coverage on the WSOP, make sure to stay tuned on pokernews.com, powered by Club GG.